Hello, my name is Alex Sahabazada, and this is Beagle Station. The goal with Beagle Station was a simple solar-powered weather station that I could expand upon in the future for other projects. I'm using a TL2575 adjustable buck converter from TI. It converts the 12 volt output from my 20 watt solar panel, which is currently outside with the case and backup battery, down to a usable 5 volts. The 5 volt rail then charges the backup battery, which will power the rest of the system. The rest of the system includes a BeagleBone Black, an MSP430, and several sensors. The reason I have both a BeagleBone Black and MSP430 is because of their different capabilities and power draw. The MSP430 at a low power mode pulls microamps compared to the BeagleBone Black's low power mode, which is pulling milliamps. This allows me to do basic functionality throughout the system and to have a real-time clock running on the MSP430 to only turn on the BeagleBone Black when needed. The BeagleBone Black, when activated, will collect data from the three sensors. The first sensor is a rain sensor that is able to detect actual dropping rain onto the sensor and gives a small, short digital output of whether or not it's raining. Next is a light sensor that is connected up to through I2C that the BeagleBone Black uses to determine what time of day it is to some rough measure based on light. Lastly is a general weather sensor which does humidity, temperature, and atmospheric pressure. This is also connected up to I2C, and the bagel bone uses this to pull data, which could be outputted in the audio in or audio out jacks. The reason I have an audio out jack is because I'm able to transmit that through ham radio to another station whenever I deem so. Overall, the whole station allows you to do simple weather functions and have a very expandable platform, whether or not you want a glow power drawing system or a higher, more powerful system whenever needed, and the whole system is able to be powered by a solar panel at any time. Thank you for seeing the Beagle Station, and I hope you enjoy the user guide that follows below.